I'm Tracy Baxter with today's Record News Watch. They came to say goodbye to a friend who left them much too soon. Funeral services were held this morning at Our Lady of Mount Carmel Church in Middletown for Armando Colon, a 17-year-old from Middletown who died in a car crash last Thursday while driving himself and three friends to their prom. Many of those at today's funeral service were among the 1,500 people who attended his wake on Memorial Day at Appleby McPhillips Funeral Home, where they gathered to pay respects to a young man his fellow students had nicknamed Captain America. Many chose to pay tribute by wearing prom attire. The mourners included Cologne's prom date and a friend who was sitting behind him in the vehicle when it crashed. Armando, he's just an overall like great kid. He loved everybody. We all um, have helped each other out a lot. Like for the past, since Friday actually, we've all been together. Like people come together at each other's houses and like we'll all talk about him and you know, vent and like, you know, remember all the good times and everything. And it's just, it's helpful. It's really helpful because there was really never, actually not really, there was never, never any bad moments with Mondo. Mondo's always been like the best, the strongest. He's the funniest guy and he's overall just a general just generally sweet person. You and literally can't, you can't remember any bad memory with him because that's just how good he was. Like we'd always call him um, Captain America because he was just, he was invincible to us and he still is and we just, we love him. It's a tragedy. Everyone is outpouring. As you can see, there's people here from all over the community, for veterans groups, uh, just like when we're down at the Veterans Day Parade, a lot of the veterans who didn't know Armando but know what, he's, what the ROTC does in the community is going to come up and, and support him. And just, it's like I said, it's a tragedy. He's a great young man. Armando Colon had been a member of the Naval Junior Reserve Officer Training Corps program at Middletown High School. His friends say he had wanted to become a U.S. Marine. In other news, a Honesdale, Pennsylvania woman is expected to be brought back to Orange County within the next week following her arrest for failing to pay child support dating back to 1999. 42-year-old Dee Dee Riggs is accused of owing more than $325,000 in child support to the Orange County Department of Social Services. According to the Orange County Sheriff's Office, Riggs fled New York uh, five years ago in an attempt to avoid prosecution in Orange County. She was picked up in Wayne County, Pennsylvania as a fugitive from justice. Riggs was considered Orange County's most wanted fugitive for failing to pay child support. It is the day set aside to remember the men and women who died while serving in our nation's armed forces. But that Memorial Day tribute is often extended to thank all those who have put on a uniform in defense of our country. It was an historic celebration Monday in Fremont where the 129th Memorial Day Parade stepped off. It's the second oldest continuous Memorial Day Parade in commemoration in the state. Only Waterloo, New York, recognized as the birthplace of Memorial Day, has a longer tradition. It was one of a number of parades held in the region to honor those who made the ultimate sacrifice. The cities of Kingston and Port Jervis uh, were among the places where marchers and parade watchers paid tribute to our fallen heroes. A troubling issue has got some attention over the weekend during the ceremony for more than a thousand graduating West Point cadets. The graduation speaker, Secretary of Defense Chuck Hagel, told the newly commissioned second lieutenants that they will be instrumental in future efforts to stamp out the scourge of sexual assault within our nation's armed forces. More than 13,000 family and friends gathered at Mikey Stadium to witness the graduation ceremony where they heard Secretary Hagel talk, uh, speak to the issue of sexual harassment and sexual assault in the military, which he called a profound betrayal of sacred oaths and trusts. Ceremony ended, as it always does, with jubilation, as the grads celebrated uh, their success in overcoming all of the challenges put in front of them during their four years at West Point. A group of residents from the New Paltz area took part in a march against Monsanto Saturday, one of a number of worldwide protests aimed at the agricultural giant and the genetically modified food it produces. Protesters were calling attention to what they say are the dangers posed by modified food products produced by Monsanto, uh, which they claim are poisoning our planet and our children. Organizers of the movement say protests were held in more than 400 cities and 52 countries. 
and he may well have been a sore loser who chose to return to the scene of the crime. Monticello police have charged 42-year-old Mark Soldo of Queens with felony criminal mischief for attacking a video gaming machine at the Monticello Casino on Raceway back on May 4th. Police say he broke the glass screen of the machine, causing more than $1,200 in damage. He left the premises before he could be identified by Racino Security. But Monticello police say security recognized Soldo when he uh, returned to the Racino on Saturday. Following his arrest, Soldo was uh, sent to Sullivan County Jail on $1,500 bail. Much warmer weather is moving into the region this week. Uh, the forecast for Wednesday calling for temperatures in the low 80s. Under a mostly cloudy sky, there is the threat of late-day thunderstorms Wednesday. Thursday will be partly sunny and hot, with the highs up around 90 degrees. Keep clicking back here at Record Online for news when it breaks and get caught up on all that's happening by starting your day with the Times-Herald Record. For Record News Watch, I'm Tracy Baxter.